Hello class, it is Mr. Starman and welcome back to... Ah! Woo, that was close. Welcome back to Redstone School where today's lesson is in... Showmanship. Ah! Okay, maybe not. How about trolling instead? Yeah, trolling sounds a lot better. Ugh, boy. Never getting used to those rough landings, you know? Oh, I'm guessing two different fireworks. Oh, well. Anyway, guys... Hey, yo, it's Starman, and welcome back to Redstone School. I just wanted to try a new introduction for once, seeing as though this is a different series. So, you know, whatever. And, by the way, um, I actually wanted to do a series on use of command... I wanted to do an episode on the use of command blocks, but apparently... Yeah, it ain't happening. Uh, I wonder... What if I were to... Nope. So it's nothing more than some useless block taking up space. That sucks. So today, what we're going to be doing is an episode on trolling. One of the most annoying and offensive things that you could ever do to another Minecraft player. So let's get this started, shall we? First thing I'm going to teach you is secret traps. Well, this is actually going to be not so secret. Now, trolling is a very intricate sport. Well, not really a sport. It's an art, in a way. Now, imagine, however, that you have only a couple of tripwire hooks and some string as wire, as well as some TNT. This actually comes in handy, seeing as though that a, well, that any type of item like a tripwire hook can give off a redstone signal and set off TNT. You set that here, set that there. Huh? Oh, guess that could happen. Anyway, redstone is one of the best tools you can utilize in trolling, and this is one of the best ways to show off how, by blowing myself up to smithereens. In fact, uh, redstone is actually the troller's best friend. Well, in truth, that's uh, TNT, but that's something else entirely. Now then, an easily concealed item... The tripwire can be very, very fun to mess with. And yeah, my skin's a little weird. Eh, still want to bring that up. And if hidden perfectly, hidden in the right way, a tripwire can get rid of some annoying little pests. Like such. Oh man, I still got some of the lights. Huh. They really didn't take up much of this to think about it. But believe me when I say this, if I were in survival mode, I'd be dead. In fact, let's give another demonstration in survival mode. Now, as you'll notice, this may be bad, but... Oh! Okay, yeah, they got me a bit. <clears throat> but I believe I made my point fair enough. Now then... I'll be right back up in class, so don't worry. Oh, well, look at that. Easy cleanup, too. Anyway, as I said before, trolling is good. Well, not entirely good to the receiver, but it is pretty damn funny. And kind of inappropriate at the same time. But you gotta know who to troll at any point. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep up this blast wall to be on this. Was that really broke by the TNT? Anyway, guys... We're actually going to be continuing the rest of this lesson behind this blast wall. Oh yeah, quick tip. Best item to utilize when in protecting your home against TNT? Obsidian. Guaranteed. Every time. But, in any case, you guys, the tripwire hook is not the only item that is good with trolling. In fact, some items, like say a pressure plate, is actually usable. And highly recommended. Allow me to demonstrate. Now, as you can see, class, within this small wooden floor, I have hidden this pressure plate. And as well, for some extra good measure, I also added in a blast container. So the only thing that's going to get destroyed is either the concrete that surrounds it, or, or should I say, and this wooden floor. Don't worry, class. This has all been practiced before. 
Problem is, well, I didn't give myself anything to survive the blast, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna need to speak with my associate first. Polly! Polly! Polly, you dumb parent! Write down my obituary! Did you hear me? Ah, well. Anyway, guys, I'm also gonna need to do one thing. Set world spawn. Just in case. Now watch. Uh, I'm also going to need uh, one less thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm stalling. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, people. I'm... Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, well, let's just do this. Now then, as you will notice, I have quite idiotically stepped onto a pressure plate in which... Oh! Ah! Nurse! Oh, okay, that hurt. But you can see why I took those precautions. There's five TNT underneath there. Not only would I be destroyed, but pretty much a good chunk of the school would be destroyed. And yeah, I know, school sucks, so pretty much that would be a blessing. But this is my job, okay? No need to get mean. Oh, wait. <laughs> you guys are still watching. Oh, God, I completely forgot to pause that. Whoopsie. Oh, boy. Sorry, I thought I paused it. So, yeah. In any case, now for another demonstration. Another item that could be used for such a thing is the dispenser. True, it can own... It is true that it can unleash arrows in their current state. Like, say, any of these tipped arrows would do some nice. Like, say, uh, maybe... Uh, that wouldn't do anything. No. Ooh, definitely one of these. And, uh... Definitely one of these. Definitely this. And... Hmm. Uh, ooh, then only this too. One thing these three have in common is that they can cause major amounts of harm. Let's see, uh, just place that back there. But what else the dispenser can do is that it can unleash lava. It can, uh, oh wait, one last awesome thing. It can dispense potions as itself. So yeah, this is going to take some time to set up, but I'll be right back. Okay, my dear students, I have actually rigged this with that of a special item called the Redstone Tree, which will be in the next teaching, to shoot out special lingering potions down to here that are as follows. <clears throat> Decay, poison, and an intense amount of harming. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, and uh, before I kill myself doing this, um, if you guys are new to the class, be sure to hit the like, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like button, especially if it helped in any way, and also be sure to ring that little bell, not to become part in the notification squad. All right, let's do this. Ah, oh, God. <coughs> oh, God, that's bad, that's bad. Ah. I don't feel so good, nurse. Nurse, I think I... Oh, I'm, I'm not paid enough for this. I am really not paid enough for this. I don't know why I keep doing this job. They don't pay me enough for this. Why the hell do I keep doing this? Uh. Oh. <laughs> you guys back. Yay. You guys didn't hear any of that, did you? All right, and we're back. Oh, oh, that did not feel good. I'm still feeling a little sick, you guys. Those potions, and I am not feeling too good. Although, yeah, I will be showing a special episode on signal extensions in the next video. So. Be sure to stick around for the next bit of class, or else I'll mark you all absent, or... <clears throat> oh, that was nasty. Well, be sure to stay... <clears throat> be sure to stay subscribed for... <clears throat> More. 
Ranston School is. We're more episodes of Redstone School. I could stay alive for much longer. So, if you guys did like this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. <laughs> also, this is the first video you see by me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I try not to disappoint. And be sure to ring the bell. Ding ding. I become part of the notification squad. Thank you guys so much for watching this. As I managed to repetitively kill myself. As always, I'll just see you guys in the next video. And one last troll. This is commonly used to push people into mountains or river streams or anything like that, you know. Except it's much more elaborate. Well, oh man. I oh, feel so good. Anyway, hope you guys have a better school day than me. Bye.